Right, no, thanks for that question. I mean, it's, it's, it's a mystery. So everything we see around us, everything you and I are made of, are essentially 1% of things we see. 1%? Yeah. Astrophysical observations, or a few percent. Astrophysical observations have shown that 95% of things around us are invisible, but how do we know they exist? Because they exert gravitational pull, just like an apple falls from a tree. Those invisible matter bends the path of lights, and from those we can conclude there is dark matter, and there is how much dark matter is there. So it's not a hypothetical matter. We don't know what it is, but we know something exists. And you've been looking into this for some time. You've done your PhD thesis around this. What has been the question you've been seeking to, to unpack in your, in your research? Right, so of course, people have been looking for dark matter for decades because this is, as you said, it's an unsol unsolved problem. For us, uh, this particular project started like three years back, just before COVID uh, hit and our worldview changed. Uh, we tried to look at it a very different way because people have been looking at standard ways, as I can say, and haven't found anything. So we wanted to look at it in a very different way, which no one else had looked at. And this is not just in South Africa, but Globally, this is all over the world. Yes. At the uh, CERN, which is the European Research Nuclear Laboratory, where the Large Hadron Collider exists, where we collide 40 million protons per second at the speed of light. They collide against each other. Uh, a lot of new particles, like a lot of particles come out, we capture what co comes out with the you know, detectors, which are like cameras, very sophisticated digital cameras, mm. and we try to see if we see signs of anything which we don't expect.